Around 2019, the uh, Rappler editors asked me to come back and cover the elections. I was uh, I had a, uh, took a hiatus from Rappler for about three years, came back and went in uh, to in the middle of the midterm elections and rediscovered the uh, local political scene, covered the local elections, and the national candidates were coming to Cebu. We found that uh, people are very interested in what's happening in the local level, and uh, so we really are digging into. Um, what's happening in the local government, uh, what is unique about Cebu and the Visayas region in uh, arts and culture and uh, the language and other issues. And we've been really trying to engage the audience in what stories they're interested in, in uh, what, what stories they're interested in, what they would like us to cover. The struggle with being both a student uh, handling online classes um, and also being a journalist, trying to go and cover places and going on field um, came as a big shocker to me. But uh, at the very least right now, um, I'm trying to balance all of these things while making sure that I, you know, studies first uh, before, before I'm a journalist, I'm a student. So yeah, I've got that going on. That's really among the challenges. Um, sticking, sticking to what's important, sticking to what you know is important, and um, having the government nitpick and call out media institutions, and even um, try to um, counter to to counter their legitimacy. Leaders are actually calling out. Um, media institutions and even artists or influencers for for um, uh, broadcasting a narrative that they that's not in line with the local government agenda.